Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a good old-fashioned favorites video. I have a little bit of everything today. I have four beauty favorites, two toddler favorites, one fertility favorite, one household cleaning favorite, and one favorite book series. So we are going all over the board today. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my beauty favorites. The first one is the Redken Rebel Tame Frizz Dismiss. This is a leave-in heat protectant and control cream. It was recommended to me the last time I got my hair done by my hairstylist, and it reminds me a lot of a product that I used at the very beginning of doing YouTube. My OG, OG, OG people might remember this, but it was in a blue tube, and one of my sorority sisters had recommended it to me, and then after I used that tube up, I could never find it again. I just remember loving that product and looking for it everywhere, and I could never find it again and I also could never find anything that behaved quite like it. This product reminds me a lot of that product and I am in love. This is my new holy grail hair product for when I want to wear my hair straight, which is 100% of the time currently in my life and I just love it. I mix this with a few other products. I make a little cocktail for my hair. I mix it with the Olaplex 6, which is a leave-in, and the Unite oil, and I put it in my hair when it's damp, and I love this stuff. My next favorite was also recommended to me by the same hairstylist, and this is the L'Oreal Professional Repair 10-in-1 Perfecting Multi-Purpose Spray for damaged hair. This is what I have been using as my leave-in spray. First thing I do before I even like comb out my hair with my um, detangling brush is I spray this stuff. And when I was in the salon, she used this pretty liberally all over my hair. I would say she did like 15 sprays, which is more than what I would think to use. So I have been doing that as well and I love it. It makes my hair super easy to brush through and detangle, and I have very tangly hair, so that is saying a lot. So these two products I really, really have been loving. My next favorite is an at-home laser hair removal machine, and this portion of the video is sponsored by Kinsey, but don't click off because this is incredible. You want to hear about this product. It's really good. So this is my little Kinsey. It's super cute and small. It fits in the palm of my hand. It comes with the actual machine plus this really long cord in the box. What this is is an at-home IPL laser hair removal machine. IPL is a pretty versatile technology. It is a form of light therapy, little wavelengths of light into your skin, and it can help with blemishes, skin discoloration, and removing hair. So it actually does lots of different things. It's not just um, hair removal. However, that is what we're using it for because Ain't nobody got time to shave all the freaking time, right? I have actually gotten laser hair removal treatments done in a dermatologist office. This was several years ago, and I remember getting a package of three sessions. I decided to do my legs, my underarms, and my bikini area, and she told me at the time that I needed six sessions, but I pre-paid for three sessions. I remember it being very painful, and after my three sessions were up, I did not want to finish out my sessions. The pain was really intense for me personally. It also was very expensive. It was several hundred dollars per treatment area per session. So that adds up really fast. And the Kinsey, you can use all over your body, just like if you were to go into a salon. So you can do your upper lip, you can do your armpits, your legs, your arms, like anything you need. This machine costs $229, but you can get $50 off with a code that I'm gonna have in the information box. Definitely do that because that brings the Kinsey to $180, which is literally the price of like one session of one area would be in salon and you can do it from the comfort of your home, which is huge. This has five different settings of strength. I have worked myself up to a three, so that is what I'm using, and I can tell you that one and two, I can't even feel. With three, I can feel a little bit of heat, but that's it. I don't feel that shock that I felt with an in-office treatment. So pain-wise and price-wise and convenience-wise, this is already the winner, right? So they recommend that you do this once a week for 12 weeks. I have currently done three sessions and I've actually been doing it on my arms because I felt like that was a good way for me to test it. 
Um, since I have had in-office treatments on other areas of my body, I figured I would be able to tell the most difference of how well this worked. I am gonna show you how it works. It's really easy, I just plugged it in. You're going to turn it on, and then you're gonna see these little light up buttons, and I'm going to go ahead and put it to a level three. You're gonna put it against your skin and when it is pressed safely against your skin, the red button is gonna flash. I'm actually gonna turn this around so you guys can see the red button flashing. And then you're just going to press this button. And that's it. And then you're gonna move it, do it again. Move it, do it again. Move it, do it again. Super easy. Your skin is a little bit warm afterwards, but it's definitely nothing, um, it's not even uncomfortable. It's just a little bit warm. After three cycles, I can already tell the difference. So I'm super excited to see what it feels like after the full 12. From someone who has had in salon treatments, I'm telling you, this is a good little invention. And you can get $50 off with my code. Like I said, you can go to Kinsey.com, which is K-E-N, zzi.com and you can use my code to get $50 off. Um, I think that you should because it's, it's real good. So in nine weeks, one of you guys remind me to give an update on this because girl, I'm not missing a single treatment. It's so good. My next beauty favorite is the lipstick that I'm currently wearing and it's the lipstick that I've been wearing in my last few videos. I have seen comments asking what it is and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Kim K West. It is a super beautiful nude. It's very creamy, very moisturizing, and I just think it is one of the prettiest nudes that I have ever tried. And I have tried a lot of nude lipsticks, so I absolutely love this. I am actually looking for a lip liner that works well with it. The ones that I have that are nude don't quite go with it, and I'm sure that they make a lip liner that goes with this. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research and find out what uh, Charlotte Tilbury recommends to use with this lipstick shade because I have been using it every day and I love it. It is hot. I'm burning up probably all of these lights. Moving on to my household cleaning favorite. You know you have truly transitioned into like a mom when you have cleaning products in your favorites videos. My mom actually recommended this to me. It is the Home and Planet Multi-Purpose Cleaner Spray in Bulgarian Rose Petal. And you guys, this is my favorite stuff. Look how much I've used. Like it's down at the bottom. And I already have a backup of this ready to go. It smells just like rose. You can use this on almost every surface. I use it all over my house and it is vegan, it's very clean, and it smells so nice. It smells, in my opinion, like a room scent that you would choose as opposed to a cleaning product. So obviously it smells like rose, but I tend to go for rose candles and rose perfumes. So for me, this is just the best scent for a multi-purpose cleaner, and I picked this up at Target. I have two toddler favorites to talk about in this video. One is a high chair and one is a toy storage organizational system. So I'm gonna start with the toy storage first. I had been looking at some really pretty stackable wooden toy storage centers that you can find on lots of websites like Pottery Barn or Container Store and they just felt like they were really expensive for what they were. So I went on Amazon and I ended up finding this organizational container. I'm going to insert a clip of what it looks like as I'm talking, and it was really inexpensive compared to the other ones that I had been looking at. I liked that it had lots of different little white containers that you could kind of like micro organize the toys. So we have all of his plastic blocks in one, his wooden blocks in one, all different toys that come with little different different parts I can kind of put in their own bin. And he actually likes to help me put away his toys now, which is huge. So he finds the act of putting toys into this container really fun. And I just thought that this was genius. I love this product. It's been working really well for us. And for the price, it cannot be beat. I have natural light coming in on this side. And then I have two soft boxes coming in on like behind the camera. And the difference in my eye colors is like especially 
noticeable right now because of the two different light sources coming in and I'm overdue a lash fill and so this eye has a lot more lashes left on it than this one. Sorry about it. The other toddler favorite that I have to talk about is a high chair and this is not something that I would have purchased except the last time we were in Kingsport, we ended up having to leave his high chair there because we ended up not having enough room in the car. And to be honest, mom and I had talked about how a high chair is probably one of those items that we need to have one at each house because it's such a bulky item that traveling back and forth from Nashville to Kingsport, it just didn't make sense to like be taking our high chair with us all the time. And so I ended up deciding to purchase kind of a smaller one, just something a little bit more compact that we could have at one of the houses and then have our other high chair at the other house. So I ended up doing a little bit of research and I found the Baby Bjorn apparently had really great reviews. People loved him. I remember seeing this high chair on Brittany Vassour's video and I remember her saying that it was like one of her favorite baby products of all time. So Alex and I decided to go ahead and order this. We got it off Amazon and when it came in, the first thing we noticed is that it was a very, very small. And I do remember Brittany mentioning that it was small as well, but I hadn't really remembered that until after I saw how small it was. Like it's, it looks like it's for like a munchkin. It's really strange, but oh my gosh, you guys, this high chair, after having experience with another high chair, the pros of this high chair outweigh my other one so much. It is so easy to clean. It doesn't have any cloth or anything on it. All of the surfaces are very streamlined. It's very easy to wipe down and clean. And my other high chair, which is the Siesta, um, I can't remember the brand of it off the top of my mind, but that one is beautiful to look at, but it is extremely difficult to clean. It is full of creases and crevices and cloths, and it's just, Compared to the Baby Bjorn, if I could go back, I would just get the Baby Bjorn. It's just so much easier, it's more sanitary, and I just really like it. Oh, one more thing about it. It actually, like, the way it's designed, the tray fits onto your, like, kid's stomach so snug and tight that I'm finding that he's not dropping any crumbs or pieces of food onto his lap, which is a huge issue with the other high chair because it did not... Um, contour to his body as well so he constantly were he was dropping things in his lap and in the seat as he was eating and it's just this high chair is just a really good high chair like I highly recommend it but it is small you should know that like when I when we got it I was like is this for a munchkin or like a doll moving on to my favorite book series of the moment I just read this entire series. It's four books and it is called, it's the first one, I can't remember if the series is called this or if it's the name of the first book, but it's Stella and Soul and it's by Kimberly Loth. And I'm gonna link below where you can actually get the entire four books, like the whole book set for one Audible credit. This is not sponsored by Audible, but you can use my link if you want to. It's audible.com slash L. Um, I'll have it below. And you can get this whole book set as your one credit, which I thought was really cool because I have not seen that before. Um, but you can also get it, I think it's on Kindle Unlimited. So just however you like to read your books or listen to your books, you can but it is so good. If you have read the um, Court of Thorns and Roses series, it's very similar to that. This series is not about fairies, which the other one is, so it's not similar in that sense, but it's similar in that it's about a world where there's two different countries and one is the country of sunlight that's soul and one is the country of nighttime that's stella so that's why it's kind of similar if you've read those books you know what i mean but it's about the princess the crown princess of soul and she there's a lot of like weird rules in her country and all of this stuff but she's being forced to get married because she has to like take on the crown and she doesn't want it. She's very like wild and free and like doesn't like rules. One of the princes from Stella comes over and proposes to her. And at first she's like, absolutely not because she's actually secretly in love with a slave. They have slavery in Seoul and they don't in Stella. That's like one of the big differences between the two countries. And there's magic in Stella and not Seoul. So the, the, those are like two big differences. Anyway, um, she decides that she's gonna like pretend to marry this prince so that she can go over to Stella and like secretly run away and then marry the slave. 
and obviously that's a terrible plan and it doesn't work out spoiler alert but um it's just about her adventures of going over to this other very different magical realm and a lot happens like you guys i devoured this book series all four books in like two days and um when i read a lot like that it's basically just me not sleeping because i still have to get up really early because i have a one and a half year old so um i didn't get much sleep but it was worth it though my next favorite is a fertility favorite and i don't think that i've ever talked about fertility favorites before but this is a really good one so this is an ava bracelet and it is a bracelet that you wear at night. You don't have to wear it during the day, but you wear it at night and it tracks several different aspects of um, your fertility. So it tracks your BBT, which is your basal body temperature. Um, it tracks your breathing rate, your heart rate, and a couple other things that I don't really know exactly what it does, but basically it uses all of this data and it can pinpoint your fertile window in real time. And what I think is cool, especially like personally about the Ava bracelet is I have charted my fertility for about a year and a half um, between the months that I was doing it while we were trying to conceive James and then trying for a baby this time, like pretty much since my periods have come back from um, postpartum with James, I have tracked it just to know where I'm at. And the biggest thing that I like about the Ava bracelet as opposed to how I used to track is that I used to chart with a BBT thermometer. Um, so it's a very specific way of taking your temperature. You have to do it uh, with a certain thermometer and you have to do it first thing in the morning before you open your mouth, before you roll over, before you get out of bed, like first thing. And that is very difficult with a toddler. We do co-sleep and I am, you know, kind of up in the mornings. A lot of times he'll wake me up and there's just kind of a lot going on. I find it very difficult to track your BBT with a toddler in the bed. It was never something that was my favorite even when I did it when I was charting for um, like James's pregnancy because it is something you have to remember and you have to make sure that it's like after your deepest sleep. It just is not very easy. But the Ava will actually do this in the night when you're actually in your deepest sleep. It will take that reading for you. So you don't have to think about it. You can just sync it to the app and it shows you all of the different information. I'm just finding it really cool and really useful. And so I wanted to share that. I do have a link below where I think you can get some money off your Ava. I ended up doing a Google search and just using a random bloggers code because it was the only way to get money off my Ava. This isn't sponsored or anything like that, but I do want to put the code down there so that if you are interested, you can get money off your Ava because it is pretty expensive. They do have a certain package. Now I did not do this, but they have one where you pay a little bit more money, but they give you a one year pregnancy guarantee where if you use it consistently and you sync it all 12 months, like you're actually using your bracelet and you don't get pregnant in 12 months, they refund you your bracelet. So I ended up not doing that because it was more money and I just figured like, I don't know, I just decided not to, but that is an option and I think it's pretty cool that they even offer that. All right, so that is everything. That's all of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very broad in my favorites categories if you enjoyed this and you want to see them more often i definitely will do them maybe seasonally i used to do them monthly like way back in the day but um I, I don't think that's really feasible right now but i will do them more often if you guys like them so definitely leave me a comment and let me know leave me a comment if there are any favorites that you have that you have been really enjoying and loving and you just want to share the information with other people because sometimes when you really love something you just want to tell people like this is a freaking good cleaner and you need to go get it you know that sort of thing so um let me know in a comment give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you guys with my next video goodbye